In this video, we're going to be talking about how to multiply by multiples of 10 and using mental math strategies in order to solve these mentally. Now at the top of your screen in blue, you have a little hint that we're going to use uh, for the six problems that are on your screen. And it's to use or look for facts you know in order to solve these mentally. So the multiples of 10 are all the numbers that 10 will multiply into. Or if you were to count up by 10, all the numbers you'd hit. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And these go on forever. Okay, and as you can notice on the uh, six problems on your screen, the multiples of 10 end in zeros. It might be one zero, it might be a hundred zeros, it might be three zeros, but we're going to use those zeros as part of the mental math strategy in solving these problems. So let's jump right in to number one. So for number one, we have 40 times three. So when we see a multiple of 10 in a multiplication problem, we can use some different mental math strategies in order to solve this mentally. So let's take our four from 40 and our three here and multiply them together. Like it says up top in blue, we're going to look for facts that we know and apply that to these problems. So let's do four times three and that's going to give us 12. Now obviously the answer to 40 times three is not 12. So we're going to use this zero here to push the one and the two from the 12 into the correct place values. That way we do get the correct answer. So we have one zero up here in our factors or original problem here. So we're going to put one zero on the end of 12 and we get an answer of 120. So we took the fact we knew, four times three, wrote our 12, and then, the, and then used zero from the problem, put it on the end of that 12, and it pushed everything to the right place value. So let's go to number two. We have 70 times five. So do we see a fact we know? Yeah, seven times five. Seven times five is 35. Obviously, that's not the answer to 70 times five. We still need to use the zero to push the three and the five to the correct places. So we put the one zero on the end, 70 times five, 350. Number four, we have eight times 500. So we have a nice fact here eight times five, which is 40. Now let's look back at the original problem. We have one, two zeros to put on the end of 40, one, two, to push the original four and zero from our fact to the right place value. So we get 4,000. Number four, 90 times 50. So let's pick out our fact, nine times five, which is 45. Let's take a look at the factors of the original problem, the 90 and 50, and we have one, two zeros, one, two, answer of 4,500. Number five, we have 40 times 30. So let's pick out our fact here. We have a four times three, which is 12, and then we have one, two zeros that we can place back in our answer to give us the correct product or answer. The product just means the answer to a multiplication problem. So 1,200. Number six, we have 900 times 700. So the fact we can pick out is nine times seven which is 63. Let's take a look at our original problem here. And we have one, two, three, four zeros. So one, two, three, four zeros. Put in the comma, 630 
thousand. So again, use the facts you know, and then use the zeros from the original problem in your answer to push the answer of that fact to the correct place value. And that's how you can use some mental math strategies to solve multiplying by multiples of 10 problems. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.